Yeah, well, we've talked about the big issues mm -hmm. surrounding this, Miata, and talked about them with the uh, with the uh, the MP just there. But when it comes to hitting people in their pockets, some people will see, you know, they'll see the changes to universal credit could be a good thing. Yeah, so it's positive steps. Uh, reducing particularly the waiting time for universal cre uh, credit is definitely to be welcome. But in the end, people will be waiting four weeks for money to pay for their rent, to pay for their, um, to pay for, you know, basic things like their heating. Um, and there are still big problems with universal credit. So it's a policy that kind of needs to be rebooted, needs to be refreshed. And I think the Chancellor missed an opportunity in the budget to do that. But they're stepping in the right direction. Definitely okay. stepping in the right direction. Guy, let's talk about um, housing and in particular abol abolishing stamp duty for first time buyers paying under £300,000 for a house. People will be more rubbing their hands with glee if they're about to do that. Well, yeah, if, if you're about to, you, you, on average, people might be saving just under £2,000 or so. Um, obviously, a win for yeah. those people. It's not going to solve the bigger problem of affordability. OK. Because house prices are incredibly expensive for most people up and down the country. Um, and th th as we heard in a previous report, there is a danger. We don't know if it will happen yet. There's a danger that this policy may push house prices up. That's so if there aren't enough houses. But the Chancellor has pledged billions, 44 billion, I think, to build more houses, finally. Yeah, they want another 300,000. We, we, we've heard this before. We, we've heard promises to build. Um, you know, the building industry says we need a quarter of a million a year. Um, we haven't got near that in the last few years. Um, let's see if that really happens. <laughs> okay. Jasmine, let's look at cars. Um, diesel cars could be hit with a higher tax. It's not going to affect everybody, though, particularly people who already have a diesel car. Absolutely. And he made very clear, um, with a joke, amazingly, <laughs> incredibly, um, that white ban man uh, won't be affected. And, and there was a lot, you know, to be fair to him, there, there were quite a few pro-business items here. You know, that being one, saying, look, we're, we're looking after the, the, the van man, and there are more of them now, now that we're buying things off the Internet. Um, so... Hey, you know, th this, I think this is another small positive. He's doing things you know, with electric cars as well, trying to, to get rid of the pollution in this country, and he mentioned particularly with children. Miata, let's talk about the emissions, not the emissions, <laughs> the emissions. <laughs> as I mentioned there, nothing new on social care, nothing for savers, nothing for pensioners. He didn't even mention social care. Okay. But for me, actually, the big story of the budget was, look, the economic context behind the budget was already tough. And it basically what we heard from the Chancellor is that life is about to get tougher for people. Um, families that, you know, have seen no improvements in their paid package for about a decade are about to be squeezed further. And this should have been an opportunity for big steps in order to help people in their day-to-day -day lives. It should have been a big budget, but it was a bandage budget. <laughs>